Hello, this is Broly SS Guy, and I'm back with another video. And I want to discuss the um, situation with Spider Man DLC not coming out, even the Spider Man multiplayer not coming out. Everybody, I see a lot of people have their own opinions about the situation, but I haven't seen anybody, and I mean anybody. I haven't seen anybody at all point the finger at that dude Hiroki. I'm not sure what his last name is. I think it's Toki. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I understand he's supposed to cut down on costs and all this stuff, right? But the thing is, he's cutting on cause he's cutting down he's cutting down on things that were pretty much make him good money in, in my opinion like the Spider-Man multiplayer, that would have made him a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? Even though they said, well, you know, the, the Spider-Man only sold 11 million. Well, still, I think that the DLC will, you know, bring in some more, you know, a lot more money that they need, you know, not more money they need, we're saying like, they should bring them some extra cash in. You know what I'm saying? Compared to Concord, come on, man. Now, this is the thing. I know that they say that Jen Ryan is the one to put this out there. And you know what? Jen Ryan had to have somebody tell him what to do, right? He had, I'm, in my opinion, I feel as though they were the ones that told Jen Ryan to get those games. You know what I'm saying? Like, think about it. If they was against it, why would they put it out? Especially Concord. Hiroki greenlit it, Concord, to be put out. Jim Ryan's been gone for a long time now. Concord recently came out. Jim Ryan didn't give it the green light. Hiroki gave it the green light. Or Herman Host. I'm looking at Hiroki. He's the one that's over Herman Host. So Hiroki's the one that did that. Hiroki's the one that canceled Spider-Man DLC. He's the one that canceled the... Uh, the, the multiplayer for Spider-Man. So, in my opinion, I wish he wasn't even up in, in the um, office. I wish they, they would replace him with somebody else. That sees um, a good thing when they have it. Because in my opinion, man, I feel as though this dude Hiroki is going to give us nothing but games with guys playing with sticks and stamina bars. That's all I'm. That's what I got a feeling, bro. Like this dude is gonna be giving us some bullshit ass games. And I really do think so. And like I said, I think you know they told Jim Ryan what games to go for. Cause why would they still put it out if they know if, if they if they were so mad at Jim Ryan and they fired him, which I don't think they did, then why are they pushing out those damn games? You could have been like, nah, we're going to go ahead and push out Spider-Man and cancel this. They canceled Twisted Metal. Think about this. Jim Ryan is gone. They canceled Twisted... Hiroki canceled Twisted Metal and Greenlit at Concord. Canceled Spider-Man DLC or the, uh, fuck the DLC. I wanted that bossy player, bruh. And we seen the multiplayer on YouTube. And it looked fun as hell. And I wanted to play that, man. Cancel that, too. Bruh, I'm not blaming Jim Ryan no more. Yeah, I didn't like him. Yeah, I wish he did go. But <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and blame Jim Ryan for every little thing that's going on today. Especially when you got somebody like Hiroki that could have been like, nah, you know what, we're going to go ahead and just, you know, Make Concord free to play or cancel that motherfucker and just put in um, Spider Man multiplayer and Twisted Metal. Bruh, Twisted Metal? So, this is another thing that's kind of like grinding my gears, too. They want it. They're talking about, you know, giving us a, a, a what is it? Her, Horizon Forbidden West. Um, multiplayer. I've heard. I've heard anything about them canceling that game. 
And that's also going to be coming out with, a, a, I think, a, a TV show. Or did they cancel that? Are they going to, like, rewrite it or something? I don't know about that. I really don't care about the TV show. It might be good. I don't know. we got to wait and see. But I really wasn't looking forward to no TV show for <laughs> Horizon Bill West. But I don't know. But how you going to cancel Twisted Metal? That's got to show out. But that's another thing that's kind of irking me, too. I don't like the fact that they're going on by, they, they want to put out games by what TV shows or movies they have out. It shouldn't be that way. People want to play, uh, what's the name of that game? Um, Infamous. I love that game. You know what? Infamous, uh, what was it? Second Son was my first true Infamous game that I actually played. And I enjoyed it. I don't think I beat it yet, though. But I did play it and I enjoyed it. I might have beaten it. I'm not for sure. But I liked the game. I did. You know, um, bring that back. You know what I'm saying? It's cool that they're going to bring back the OG God of War games. You know, from, you know, T.C. Carlson Cradles. Please bring that back. That's another thing. I want, I'm going to get my subject with Spider-Man right now. But look, I, this is a thing that I want for them to do with, with Kratos, okay? I want them to bring back David Jaffe, which I know that never happened in a million years, but bring him back and let him do a separate type of God of War than the one we have today. He can give us back the OG feel with also T.C. Carlson. He's still alive. Use that man's bruh. I'm sorry. T.C. Carlson got the voice down with Kratos. Hands down, I'm sorry. That that dude's voice is just too powerful. I don't care how deep the other dude's voice is for the new Kratos. That OG version just crushes it. I'm sorry. <laughs> it just crushes his voice. And plus the way his rage and his his uh his energy. You know what I mean? Like he for for me, in my opinion. The OG God of War, man, the energy he he gives me, I don't feel that same energy with the new Kratos. Don't get me wrong, I feel powerful, but I don't feel that that uh that 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 rage, that that real rage that the OG version has. This one feels like an old rage, like yeah, we're strong, we're you know, we're gonna get the next thing where, but I don't feel that ah, you know, like that saying. That Broly type of rage. I feel more of a old man type of rage. I don't know. But anyway, I like to have a version of that. And also for the, the newest um, fans for the God of War series, the one that prefers the, the Dad Award, they can have that version. You know, and like it's just that way everybody can be happy. Everybody can be happy. But, you know, I know that's not going to happen. But I think it would be cool to see two versions and like, keep it that way. And that way we can have more. What God of War, but in different versions, different story in time, storytelling, different ways of playing the game. I think that would be sick. But anyway, you know, um, I'm glad that they're going to do an actual uh, remake of the OG God of War. Uh, you know what? That's just hearsay, too. No one does do Hiroki. You might cut that off, too. No, we, we replace that and find men with stick and stamina bar. I'm bruh, uh, bruh, uh, bruh, bruh. I'm so sick of these Souls games that it's ridiculous. That's why I didn't buy Black, <laughs> Black Myth Wukong. I don't, I don't even like Bloodborne. I don't. I bought that game. I thought, I'm gonna have, see, but think about it, but I saw the commercial for Bloodborne. I didn't know nothing about no damn stunner bars or shit like that. I just saw a guy swinging a goddamn machete, whatever he had in his hand. And it looked fun, right? So I got the game in my hand, and I didn't even pay attention to the store the bar left there. So I, <laughs> I just started swinging. And I'm like, what the fuck? Wait a minute. Why are you getting tired? Oh, hell no. And at the time, I was still in the what I didn't even know what Souls games were when I first got Bloodborne. I never heard no damn Souls like games. And then when I couldn't get into it, it's like, it, to me, the still in the bar just ruins the experience, in my opinion. I couldn't, I couldn't deal with it. I just, I, mean, I didn't like it. 
it, it to me it it uh hindered my my uh enjoyment of the game. Like it, it's just me the fun lackluster in my opinion. It felt more like playing a uh doing a chore than to actually have fun playing the game. But yeah, um Getting back to the Spider-Man thing, I really want them to, you know, um, I know it's not going to happen, but I really did want them to, like, give us the DLC. I wanted to see Carnage, because we saw Carnage in the game, in the main story, we saw Carnage and everything, you know? Um... I forgot. He was, I forgot what Carnage was really doing. We didn't see him turn into Carnage. We just saw Cletus Cassidy. So we was hoping, like, in a, well, I was hoping a deal. See, we go ahead and get to see the full of him. We get to see him um, truly transform into Carnage and see what happened with that. But, um, yeah, guys, I'm sorry. I, I just blame Hiroki for all this because, like, you know what I'm saying? Jim Ryan's been gone for the longest period of time and. He's the one that's canceling this stuff. Jim Ryan was the one that wanted us to have the game at least. You know what I'm saying? Jim Ryan was the one that wanted us to play these games. And Rookie's taking this shit away from us. So, I blame him. As far as, you know, the cost of stuff being so high and everything, you know, that's bad. That's, that's sad to hear that. But at the same time, it's like, they still got to, have a good eye for good games. And Concord wasn't one of them. To me, I ain't gonna lie, I think Concord was a decent game, but it wasn't nothing that was gonna, like, you know, change the gaming industry and all like that. It wasn't nothing that was gonna, like, make me stop playing, you know, Fortnite or stop playing um, other online games. You know what I'm saying, but I I can see myself playing it off and on, but I wouldn't I, I couldn't see myself putting you know tons of hours into it. I don't know, like the game was it was decent. I put it that way. It was decent, but I didn't hate the game. But the thing was, I wanted to support it, but I had a feeling, I had a gut feel. I said, like, man, if I buy this game. I got a feeling Sony is going to cut the uh, cut that game off because it's not going to have enough people playing it. And I was right. Now, another thing I'm, uh, I got on my mind, too, this is off the subject about Spider-Man and everything else, right, is the fact that about uh, the PS5 Pro coming out, right? And then we got the PS6 supposedly coming out in four years. I don't believe that. In my opinion... I believe the PS6 will be here in 2007. Real talk. 2007, we get that PS6. One thing, man, I don't trust Sony for nothing they say. I don't trust them. They always telling people, now we're going to support Concord. We're not going to do this. Da, 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 da. Look what happened. Cut it right off. But I heard they're going to bring it back. They might bring it back. I hope they don't. Let the game just die. For real, bro. Let it die, you know, because nobody wanted to play it, pay for it anyway. So maybe if it's free, free to play, people might play it, but not. It ain't going to be as much as the player base they want to have, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know. But um, I think we need to, I think they need to get rid of Hiroki and get somebody in there that, you know, has a good eye for games that could – make money, you know what I mean? And um also be business not be business minded about the budget and, you know, the, the cost of things of being too high and all that. I understand that it's gotta go with the territory. What having a good eye good eye of what games are gonna make you good money. And I don't think Hiroki has a good eye on what games will get you money. He just has a good eye on what games costing too much money for them to put out. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's got to be, to me, you got to have, um, you got to have both. You got to have both of those, um, qualities 
you know what I'm saying, to, uh, to please the fans and also please them, themselves. You know, not just please themselves and just give us nothing but live series games over and over and over and over because, bro, <laughs> that's not going to, that's not, that's not cool. It ain't. Um, I didn't really need it for Spider-Man to be a, a, a live service game. I just wanted a regular multiplayer game. You know, I didn't. Want, but see, that's I think that was the thing. That, you know what? And I got a feeling that by some yeah making it that game multiplayer, I got a feeling they didn't add live service to it. I don't think they did, y'all. I think what it was, it was just gonna be a full blown regular multiplayer game. And I think Sony didn't like that shit. That's my opinion too. I feel like maybe. Hiroki was like, nah, 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 nah. There's no live service in this shit. Nah, check it out. We don't. We, we want to make money off of it. I mean, then again, I don't know. They could have been like, well, fuck it. We could just add live service into it. I I don't know. Maybe because like, isn't that kind of like what happened with the Avengers game? Like, <laughs> I don't know. No, nah, actually, Avengers would be like actually there was planned to be a live service, but I don't know, guys. Maybe um, it's something that really wasn't planning to make. Uh, Spider-Man 2 live service. Maybe it was just supposed to be a multiplayer regular DLC and Hiroki didn't... I'm, I'm, I'm keep saying Hiroki's name. And Hiroki didn't like it. And Hiroki said, nah, it's without Concord. Because that's going to be a live service game that we can make money off of throughout the um the future. Constantly make money off of it. And I'm telling you, I don't even think Jim Ryan, it, it was, I don't even think that the last service shit was Jim Ryan's even idea. I think it was their idea, that the head guy of Sony and that nigga Hiroki. That's what I'm thinking. I think it was their idea. They wanted this shit. They wanted it. And if they didn't want it, why they put out Concord? They ain't had to put out Concord, right? And they're still pushing for more live service games. So to me, in my opinion, I think they told Jim Ryan to do with all that shit he did. He just followed the instructions. You know what I'm saying? The same way with, um, what's the guy's name? Uh, Phil Spencer and his boss, Satya. You know, Sacha told him um, what to do as far as putting games on the platform, PC and PlayStation. And look what Phil Spencer is doing. He's putting games on PC and PlayStation. Same thing with uh, PlayStation. they putting games on PC. You know what I'm saying? they putting games on PC because Hiroki Toki. Because Jim Ryan, I, didn't even think, I don't even think Jim Ryan even wanted to put games on PC, y'all. I don't think he did. I think what it was... It's his, uh, remember they said something about Corey Barlog, but uh, <laughs> he was the one that told Sony to put games on, P- on PC. It's kind of funny that a damn developer had that much fucking say so and that much power in his words. So Sony to go ahead and agree with that shit, right? But, um, he was the one, it wasn't Jim Ryan, the one saying, Hey, let's put games on PC. I heard it was Corey Bolaw that told the head the head of um, Sony to do it, and he went for it. So um, now, now we got Hiroki in the joint. He's trying to speed this shit up. I think he's going to start trying to put his shit. He's going to try putting it on day and day, y'all. Eventually, he's going to try. He's going to start. He's going to go to um, <laughs> that Microsoft route. I, don't got, I got a feeling he's going to do it. I hope he don't, but he might do it, y'all. So careful with that shit, you know, careful what we be saying about, you know, what Xbox be saying about, you know, Xbox putting, you know, their games on PlayStation because the way Horoki Toki going, he just care about money. I think he worse than Jim Ryan, bro. I mean, uh, I think he had Jim Ryan beat, y'all. The bullshit. He is there to cut the cost and cut the cost of your enjoyment and games. That's what he's, that's what he's there for. 
You having fun? No, 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 no. Give him stick with still in the bar. That's all you get. You. <laughs> and a sprinkle of limited magic. <laughs> sprinkle limited magic. Shit, motherfucker, something on Jim Ryan, this Jim Ryan. Fuck it, Jim. Fuck it, Jim Ryan. He been, he been gone. Now it's all Hiroki Toki. I wrote down last name. He need to get all that smoke. He need to get all that smoke. Shit, I can't stand that dude, man. Ever since he came in this joint, man, I, 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 he got, I ain't had no problems with Hiroki until I heard those two games got canceled. Twisted Metal and Spider-Man. I can give two fucks about The Last of Us um, re, um, multiplayer. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of The Last of Us like that, so I can care less about the multiplayer game for that. But for the people that do like it, I understand it for them. But for me, I care less. Because of my Twisted Metal and my, and my Marvel Spider-Man, that's what I care about, bro. So, the hell with Haruki. Bring me, bring me Buds and Ryan. Hey, <laughs> look. Hey, look. At least Jim was giving us the games, bro. Jim was giving us the games. Hey, look. At least he gave us some, some good set of plays here and there. Oh my God! Shout out that baby steps crap. That's the only thing that was trash. That baby steps. But other than that, we get the Wolverine, Spider Man. At least when Jim Ryan was in the gym, we start. We had a a better road map. We can see what the hell was going on. We get in the future. We get a rocky choky in there, join. Oh shit, bro! We get another third party. Always seen a third party from a rocky. Number third party, bro. Like damn, we can't even say what was going on in the first party. But yeah, um, <laughs> it is what it is, guys. So, guess we'll have to keep playing Spider Man 1 and 2. Play Miles Morales, you know. I'm going to enjoy those games for what it is. Uh, that's about it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, leave a like, share, subscribe. And who do you blame? That's a good question. Who do you guys blame? Do you guys want to still blame old Jim Ryan? Lion crying, Jim Ryan? Or do you want to blame the new guy? Oh, hold on, hold on, before I tell you that. Y'all want to keep blaming, blaming Jim Ryan, who's been gone for the longest time now. They had no say so whether or not Spider Man be canceled or Twisted Metal be canceled. Or your press is the last of us being canceled as far as the multiplayer. Right? Because I know Ron, I, I put it like this. If Jim Ron was still here, I think we'd be still getting Spider-Man DLC. We'd be still getting Spider-Man multiplayer. We'd be still getting that Twisted Metal multiplayer. That's what I think. But, uh, oh yeah, the last of us, I think that was already canceled for Jim Ryan. The last of us. You know, I'm not even sure if the last was canceled before he left or not. Yeah, I think he, I think that was canceled while he was there because something to do with the uh, the developer didn't want to work on it because it'd be too much work for him or some shit, and they want to be on other projects. They want to be stuck on one game or some shit like that. So I think that's why that was canceled. Um, even though they talked about they got the game fully ready to go, they wanted to show the public how the game looked and everything, but it's canceled. But that's hearsay. We ain't seen shit, so I, we can't tell if it was done or ready to go or not. If it was done and ready to go, why didn't you put the shit out there? That's, a, that's another thing, too. If it was done, like they said, ready to go, ready to be showed, and they said somebody, they they, had, they put a lot of work in it, and they wanted to show how, how much work they put into the game. Why didn't Hiroki or Jim Ryan have faith in that game? An already established game like that. Over a Concord. Come on, guys. Over a Concord? And then again, like I said, Spider Man and I'm, I'm sorry, I'm getting back into this all over again. It's just, it just uh, burns my, it just burns me up a little bit talking about this shit, bro. All because of Rookie Toki. All because of him, guys. You know? Wait, now let's just blame Jen Ryan for everything. It's even blaming Jen Ryan for canceling these games as well, even though he's not even in the office no more. 
<laughs> it's just funny. I be still seeing people talk about Jim Ryan this and mocking him and you know what I'm saying, oh Jim Ryan and uh, doing his voice impressions and all this weird shit, but yet this let Hiroki Toki just go scot free without nothing. Like he ain't the one that's um canceling these fucking games. Like he ain't the one that's doing it. But he could sit there and green like Concord. They don't say shit about that, right? Instead of they'll say, "Come on, Sony, what are you doing?" Uh, uh-uh. fuck that. Say, "Come on, Horoki, what are you doing?" They ain't have a problem saying Jim Ryan's name when something fucked up happened. But when it comes to Horoki, it's like that motherfucker name don't exist when it's something bad that happened. Unless it's, they talk about him cutting the cost of shit to save some money on some shit. Then you hear his name proudly. Oh, Hiroki's doing this. Hiroki, now he's doing that. Okay. He also cutting all these great games we'll be getting to. All I hear about his name when it comes to some bad shit. All I hear about his name when it comes to cutting the cost of some shit. It's crazy, bro. But all right. I blame Hiroki Toki. No matter what nobody say about Jim Ryan, that's the past. This is now. Jim Ryan's been gone, and I blame Hiroki. Last name, probably Toki. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's the video. If you like, if you agree with me, let me know in the comment section. If you don't, let me know in the comment section. Who do you blame? You blame Jim Ryan, or you blame Oroki Toki? I read the person's name. I don't know, and I can get two results.